which fits in at this time. I always like to give the master's words because he says it in such a way that I can understand it clearly, and I'm sure you can. He says the grim march of world political events points inexorably to the truth that without spiritual vision, people perish. Without that love of God in our hearts, we'll perish. There's no question about it. There's nothing that will stand. And he goes on, science, if not religion, has awakened in humanity a dim sense of the insecurity and even insubstantiality of all material things. Science has shown that everything resolves into life. There's no security in the worldly objects of senses. But right within us, we can see that we, our bodies, our consciousness, our thoughts, our emotions, all things resolve into light. But in that light is God's consciousness. So there's the security, not in outward things as the Master said. Then he goes on to say, where indeed may man go? if not to his source and origin, the spirit within. So, to attain world brotherhood, lasting peace, we have to go to the source of that peace. And that is the presence of God within us, his great light and his great love. Now, our master's method, self-realization, a world peace, very important. Through the meditations which he has left us, through Kriya Yoga, man, every one of us, can go to the altar of God, which is the final region within us and the supreme center of the brain, and there feel and contact the presence of God. And without God's contact, nothing lasting will come. But through the methods of self-realization fellowship, its meditations, especially Kriya Yoga, everyone is enabled to feel the presence of God as Brother Lawrence felt it right within their own selves in their final region and superior center of the brain. And what do you feel there? What do you feel by following our master's method? You feel actually God contact. God contact. God contact means that there you can feel the Holy Ghost of which Jesus spoke. You can feel a great comforter with his great love. You can feel that by being one with what the comforter is, what God contact is. In the beginning was the Word, the Word was with God, the Word was God. You can contact and feel the Word right within yourself as great light of Christ consciousness of which we read in the beginning. A great cosmic sound of God's footsteps throughout the universe, sustaining it, building new universes, sustaining each one of us, greatest of all, can feel this great love, the feeling of God, which is in holy vibration, the word. Now this can be contact. By following our master's method, contacting that, you have God contact. And God contact is the only reality, or God is the only reality in the universe, contacting him. You have what he has, eternal, every existing consciousness of love. That's what will change the world. And if each one of us takes it upon herself or himself to make that contact with God and feel his great love, then as others follow that, as this religious experience becomes natural to the people of the world, the religious experience of God contact, then things will change, and not until then. So realize what method Master has given us. Method of God contact. Of feeling, not in idea, but in reality the presence of God within. Feeling that. God is love. So the final point is this. That God is love. God is love is the key. Master said, perhaps some of you have heard him say, 
If people hate me, I give them love and wait for them to change. Love is the key. Love is the key in all fields of endeavor. And we find right in our scriptures these wonderful words. First, from St. John, or First John, 4th chapter, the 7th verse. Beloved, let us love one another. Why? For love is of God. And everyone that loveth is born of God and knoweth God. Realize that. God is love. When you feel that love for all people in your heart, you are of God. Who can be against you? And then in 1 John, the 5th chapter, the 1st verse. Everyone that loveth him that begat, loveth him also that is begotten of him. Everyone who professes to love God must love God's children. Realizing that we love him, our Father who created his children, we must love his children. So, feeling God's love flowing through all his children, feeling that, that's what will change our hearts. When the hearts of men are changed, and lasting peace will come upon us. In order to profit from these practical teachings in a meaningful way, which will have a definite and tangible impact in your life, we suggest that you subscribe to the Self-Realization Fellowship's Home Study Course on the Science of Yoga. Please visit the SRF on the web at yogananda-srf.org or call the SRF's Mother Center in Los Angeles, California at 323-225-2471.